Hey guys, Stuart Charles here, HomestudioBasics.com, helping you make sound decisions. So I got a chance to try out the great GW 100s. Only GW. And I'm just gonna give my first impressions of the sound. They pretty much sound like most other Grados. I would say probably similar sound to like the 80E and the 60E because they have the S cushions. But yeah, these are wireless Bluetooth, so that's cool. They run around 250, I guess, right now. Yeah, the sound definitely still has some mid-range issues. Um, if you look at graphs of all Grados, 5K about is where they have the spike. And it's a little bit, it's, it's unnatural. And on here, you can definitely tell it just doesn't sound, um, everything about the headphone is perfect except for that. And that's why I'm a little bit frustrated with Grado headphones in general. Um, I find the treble is also a bit metallic and SE at times. Definitely not deal breakers, but for me, I, I could just never see myself investing in a top of the line Grado. I may take the plunge on this one because it's Bluetooth, because it's wireless. Uh, it's a little more versatile, but I don't know if I'd pay 250. Everything else about the sound is really, really, really very natural. <clears throat> like Kevin was saying over at Audio Advice, I agree with him on that. Bass articulation is spot on. Soundstage is very good. Clarity, uh, detail, detail retrieval and clarity and instrument separation especially are like astonishing with these. And that's why it frustrates me that um, Grado hasn't kind of fixed that unnatural bump. I mean, it's just, it's really unnecessary. Ruins an otherwise perfect headphone. Uh, I was talking to Marco and Trey about this as well. It, it kind of ruins the experience. I mean, you're listening, it's like, oh yeah, these are really good. And then all of a sudden, it's just, you feel that shout sort of like uh, the mid-range on the HD 600, but I think this is definitely more pronounced. It, it kind of just makes me want to take the headphone off and switch to something else. I have a kind of love-hate relationship with Grado headphones, and if you look at my other reviews, or if you look at the 325E review, it's like got a lot of dislikes. I think people get touchy about Grados if you aren't like, oh my god, these are the best headphones ever. I mean, this is a good headphone, it's just, it's got problems. Um, they improved the build a little bit as well, and I think they kind of, Grado is, a, <laughs> Grado is also reluctant to change like anything that they're doing, and I guess, I mean, it's worked for them for years and years, so why change? But I've always thought the build on them was a little bit suspect, although I've heard people having Grados for years and years without any issues, so... Um, but the difference here is, you can see right here, they, uh, they, they kind of changed, it's, it's, it's still plastic, it's still a plastic piece, but it feels a little bit more rugged and durable than the other skinnier plastic piece on the 80E and the 60E, pretty much all of them. Also, the headband seems to have a bit more padding on it, just a tad, I mean, it's not uh, night and day, but you'll definitely tell you can definitely tell it's a bit updated. Um, also the cup on the outside, it's a little bit different of a design as far as uh, aesthetics. I don't know if I like it. I kind of really, really enjoy the, the other logo that they put on the side of their ear cups. I really like that. This one, it, it just, I don't know, just kind of tacky, but that's just me. You know, the adjustment is the same, but Again, it feels a little bit more solid. Being that this is wireless Bluetooth, they knew that people were going to be taking it around, so they kind of had to do something a little bit different. It's pretty light. Um, it doesn't feel like a toy, but it, it's definitely light. And um, yeah, I, I feel comfortable with these around my neck um, walking around. I've been using them uh, with my phone. Obviously, pairs right up with my phone, which is cool. But you also have the option of using them wired. So... You can see right there. Yeah, this is a this is a good headphone, but I don't know if I would spend 250 on it. I think maybe 150. Given that it's Bluetooth wireless, but also can be used wired. I mean, that's cool. It's like I guess that would up its price a bit. So I think 150, maybe 175 sounds about right. But I don't think I would pay 250 for this. So those are my first impressions, guys. Hope you enjoyed this. Yeah, leave a comment down below with any questions you might have. And um, I'll see you in the next video.